We're now joined by the franchise, CP of Knicks Fan TV. You may recognize him from his regular appearances on the putback with our Ian Begley. CP, welcome into our SNY studios, man. Jason, finally in the studio. Pleasure to be here with you. Yeah, happy to have you. A lot of questions to get to with Let's you tonight. To oh, the Knicks picked up their third straight win in Charlotte with Julius Randle putting up another 30-point game. What's been clicking for Julius these last couple of weeks? Well, as Julius Randle would put it, he's feeling very confident right now. He backed up a 34-point, 17-rebound performance against the Hawks with 33 points against the Hornets. He's taking what the defense has given him. He's shooting about league average from three right now. And most importantly, Jason, he's making solid decisions. He's sacrificing a bit for his team, getting others involved. And overall, it's lifting up the team. And it's important right now because Jalen Brunson is mired in a bit of a slump right now. There may be a little bit of injury is he did hurt his quad a few weeks back so Julius Randle's production and lifting this team up is very critical at this point. Yeah former all-star looking like he has all-star form. I also seeing a couple of names like Cam Reddish, Evan Fournier and Derek Rose out of the rotation making way for a couple of young guns. Quentin Grimes and Deuce McBride. What have you seen from these second year players? Well, it's a miracle that when you play your best defenders, uh, good things happen. And Tom Thibodeau has gone to his better defenders, especially in Miles McBride off of the bench. Quentin Grimes has elevated that starting unit defensively as well. And it's important with for these guys at the point of attack. This is a pick and roll league, and Miles McBride and Quentin Grimes are delivering for the Knicks. They are playing excellent defense. Their pick and roll coverage has been excellent. They're getting getting into the passing lanes, forcing turnovers as well, and that's leading to points in transition. The Knicks against Charlotte for 16 turnovers, which led to 22 points, and Quentin Grimes, Miles McBride have been big factors in that. Novel concept, defense leading the offense, right? Who would have thought that in the National right. Basketball Association? All right, so the Knicks are on a four-game winning streak, and Sunday the Kings come to town. What will be the biggest factor for the Knicks if they want to get this matchup and get that fourth win? Well, this is going to be the big test for this Knicks defense. The Sacramento Kings coming in with the league's second-best scoring offense. The new head coach, Mike Brown, who's been given credit for turning that culture around, he's been a defensive guy, but the Sacramento Kings offense has been high-powered. They have a lot of shooters on that team between Kevin Herter. Obviously, De'Aaron Fox, who is nursing a foot injury, will see if he plays. They run a lot of their offense through DeMontis Sabonis. So they're also in the top 10 in passing and assists as well. Malik Monk is having six man of the year type of year. So the Kings have a high octane offense. The Knicks defense is going to be tested. They're going to have to force the Kings to make some uh, questionable decisions and questionable shots on the perimeter and make sure that the three point defense is disciplined. OK, so there's a name Knicks fans say quite often. R.J. Barrett, right? Like that, it seems to be the player every Knicks fan is gravitating towards, the contract being a big reason why. Yeah. He had a good game in Charlotte. What does he need to do to continue to see that success? For R.J., it's continued to stay aggressive. You know, for R.J., he, he, he wants to push the pace. He wants to attack the basket, and that is his strength. But he also needs to remember that he needs to find his teammate to make his teammates better. We're looking for R.J. Barrett to be a better playmaker out there. Head coach Tom Thibodeau always talks about making winning plays when your shots aren't falling. And for R.J. Barrett, we know that he's not always going to be an efficient player, but if he's rebounding the ball well, if he's defending his position, which on the wing is very crucial, and if he's making his teammates better, he'll be able to be a positive impact on this team. 